Okay, so I'm at the gym. I'm trying to optimize my fat burning process. If I can get a good shot of this. Okay, so I'm about to hit the peak zone or the peak area of where I'm gonna burn the most body fat. And I'm gonna do it right now, boom. Okay, so between 30 to 40 minutes of doing low intensity steady state cardio is when I'm gonna burn the most body fat. I dug up some old kinesiology books and the science back then is the same science now, trust me. So to try to keep this video short and sweet, I do my cardio on the elliptical machine here at the gym, right? They come in this size too, the handles. Makes no difference, you can do this on a bicycle, you can do it on a treadmill. Just something where you could stay at a steady heart rate for 30 to 40 minutes, hopefully is the right way to do it. Okay, so let's talk about some rules. So the first rule is try to get into the right cardio fat burning zone, which is between 60 to 70% of your maximum heart rate. You should be able to have a conversation like I'm having, finish a sentence, take a breath, but you should be able to finish a sentence, have a conversation with someone. So how do you figure out what your max heart rate is? How do you figure out what your 60, 70% is, all that stuff? Let's talk about it real quick. So you take the number 220, right? You minus your age. Let's just, for simple numbers, let's say you're 50 years old. So 220 minus 50 is 170. You take 60 to 70% of the number 170, which comes out to somewhere between 100 and 120, right? So 60, 70%, 60 to 70% 60 to 70 of 170 is around 100 to 120. So that's the optimum heart rate that I'm gonna try to maintain if I was 50 years old. You can break out a calculator and do the math for your specific age, you get the idea. So that's the first rule. The second rule is you tend to burn the most body fat between 30 to 40 minutes into your workout or into your cardio, sorry. You tend to burn the most body fat between 30 to 40 minutes into your cardio, your steady state cardio. Why is that? So anything before 30 minutes, yes, you might burn a little bit of body fat, but you're probably gonna burn more of your stored glycogen, which is the food that you ate from the night or the day before, or the meal before you went into the gym. If you go 30 to 40 minutes, your body's metabolism is gonna burn more body fat because that's the way it's designed. That's genetics, that's how many tens of thousands of years of evolution or hundreds of thousands of years or whatever, that's just the way it works. It is what it is. Okay, so if you go past 40 minutes of doing low intensity steady state cardio, what happens is, is now your body's internal mechanism says, okay, wait a second, this process of tapping into stored body fat is too difficult and it's gonna try to find a faster form of fuel so since you've already burned through your glycogen stores and you've burned whatever body fat you can within that 30 to 40 minute window, anything past 40 minutes, you're gonna start burning protein, which is basically muscle mass. So all the work that you did, weightlifting or doing whatever, getting your CrossFit on the last day or weeks, Basically, you're gonna start burning protein or muscle from the last place it was put onto your body. Kinda of sucks, right? So, what can we take away from this? People that are doing cardio for like three hours, you're probably getting, or you're probably burning some body fat between 30 to 40 minutes in. But what's happening is, is you're probably burning a ton of muscle mass, anything past that. Is it good for your heart health? Sure, I'll, I'll stipulate that, I'll agree with that. But if you wanna just focus on burning the most body fat or optimizing how much body fat you can possibly burn and make the most out of your time, try to do your cardio 
at 60 to 70% of your heart rate, right? Get a heart rate monitor. I'll try to put one in the description there down there below. So keep an eye out for that. Or sometimes the gym has, the machines at the gym have these heart rate things you can, you can grab onto. You can do that. But try to stay between 60 to 70% of your maximum heart rate. That's gonna be your prime fat burning zone. And the second rule is do your cardio for at least 40 minutes, right? Because that way you can take full advantage of the window between 30 minutes and 40 minutes to tap into as much body fat as your body's genetics will allow for. Okay, some other questions that might come up. Can you sprint like hell to get up to the 30 minutes or stay lower than your maximum, 60 to 70% of maximum heart rate? You could, but again, it's all about optimization. If you can stay between 60 to 70% of your maximum heart rate to get up to that 30 minutes and then push through to 40 minutes, that is the best optimization you could possibly do. Okay, warm up. Should you warm up at a lower intensity to get to the start of the whatever, whatever? Whatever you need to do before you start doing your cardio, do it. <laughs> talk to your doctor, talk to a fitness professional, talk to a trainer, whatever it is. But do whatever you gotta do. If you have to do some stretching, it's always a good idea before you do your cardio. Obviously this machine, the elliptical machine, is working my butt, my hamstrings, my calves and my quads. So I did some stretching before I got on this thing. Okay, another question that comes up. When you're done, when you pass the 40 minutes, what do you do? Basically at that point you wanna cool down. You wanna cool down so that your heart rate goes, your heart rate goes below 100, below 80, even 60 or 70 if you can. What does that mean? Get off the machine <laughs> is what that means. Get off the machine and just walk. Just walk up and down the aisles of the gym or if you're home, get off the machine, walk around the house. Just slow it down, trying to get your heart rate down, trying to cool down. You're gonna continue. Okay, here's another good point. After you get off of the machine that you were on doing your cardio, or let's say you decided to bike around your neighborhood or whatever, after you're done doing your cardio, you will continue to, at a diminishing rate, right? You will continue to burn body fat in very, very small amounts after you got off the machine, as long as you don't eat. So one tip or one trick is don't eat after doing cardio for at least about 20 or 30 minutes. And same holds true before you do your cardio. So before you do your cardio, Try not to eat for at least, I'd say an hour. Because <laughs> what's gonna happen is, is if you eat right before you do your cardio, your body's gonna go after the simple sugars, whatever carbs, whatever food is in your stomach. So if you're drinking a protein shake like 10 minutes before you do your cardio, you just blew the whole process. Because your body's gonna burn that carb, well, however many there are, and those simple starches and sugars, in whatever you ate before you did your cardio. So the trick is, this is another tip, if you can do it, if you can do your cardio on a fasted stomach, like you haven't eaten since the day before, a good, let's say eight to eight to 16 hours before, even better, even better. You're just gonna, you're just gonna minimally, in small amounts, increase the amount of fat that you're burning when you hit that 30 to 40 minutes. Any other questions? Put them in the comment section down there below. Hit the description section down below for some like some pretty cool products. Hit that like button as always. I'm trying to think of anything else that you might ask, but that's basically it. Catch you on the next video.